Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here to celebrate the wedding of Rachel and Rob. You have come here to share in this formal commitment to offer your love and support for these two, to give honor and glorify God in this union, and to bear witness as Rachel and Rob start their married life together, surrounded by the people that are most important to them. When Rob told me about Rachel, I knew immediately that she was someone wonderful and special. Here was a woman with grace and beauty, with passion and wit, tenacity and care for the world around her. And I think the funny thing is that I knew that Rob was perfect for Rachel a lot quicker than she did. And I loved when I first started hearing about him that he was goofy, he was kind, and he also kept her on her toes, which I think is important. I knew that Rachel was the one immediately when I saw how she treated him, how she talked to him, how she looked at him. It wasn't anything frivolous. It was this genuine, I care about you, I'm coming outside with you, partnering with you. She's the one. In the grand spectrum of human relationships, marriage is perhaps the greatest and most fulfilling adventure that two people can share. Through love and patience, commitment and coupleship, dedication and perseverance, talking and listening, believing in one another, helping and supporting each other in all endeavors, and loving the world together, your love will go on and on. Today is the day that I am choosing you to be my husband. I am choosing you because you have seen me for all that I am, good and bad, and you have loved me for it. Rachel, I love you against reason, against promise, against peace, against hope, against happiness, against all discouragement that could be. I come here with no expectations only to profess now that I am at liberty to do so, that my heart is and always will be yours. You push and challenge me to step far outside my comfort zone and to say yes to joy. You are the person who has never doubted me, who is always on my team, who keeps me humble, who makes me laugh, who helps me embrace silliness, who reminds me to be brave. Without you, I could live a remarkably ordinary life. But you create for me a life that is truly extraordinary. You raise me up to a better place. You always reassure me that that's where I belong. You are, at the core of who you are, kind-hearted and generous with the love you have to give others. How lucky am I that you have chosen me? I promise to be your solace when the stress of life is overwhelming. I promise to cheer you on for every promotion you ever aim for. <laughs> I promise to come to your defense when anyone tries to hurt you. I promise to give you plenty of space when you're trying to do something in the kitchen. <laughs> 
I promise to cherish and protect you and the life we build together above all others. I promise to fight fairly and apologize freely and even let you win an argument or two. I promise to provide for you and the family that we are starting today. I promise to be your comforter in times of sadness and your champion in times of success. I promise to always respect you enough to be honest with you. I promise to be your rock, your sounding board, your occasional voice of reason. I promise to give you my heart without fear or reservation. Most of all, I promise to keep choosing you today, tomorrow, and every day for the rest of my life. No matter who might turn their back on you, betray you, abandon you, if you ever feel alone, know for sure that you will always have at least one person right there by your side. Before your collected friends and family, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Rob, you may kiss your bride. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time, I believe it to be true. All of my friends say, falls into place when I'm with you and you have found a love that sets me free Two of them are a balance. They complement each other in a way that their individual strengths are boosted by each other. Their weaknesses, as I perceive them, are shored up by each other. I've witnessed firsthand the two of them as they've learned to communicate with one another, as they've been honest about their hopes and dreams and fears, and they've supported one another through thick and thin. And that's why I know that they're gonna last because that's what a good marriage is built on. May God's love surround you and your love for each other ground you. And wherever you roam, don't forget to come home. To Robin Rachel.